Well, footage of the Western Bulldogs post-game celebration went viral on the weekend, but coach Luke Beveridge is disappointed it reached the public. Despite that, Beveridge is backing his squad's maturity as they prepare for a grand final showdown with Melbourne. Sarah Ollie has more. Scenes of jubilation after the Bulldogs' 71-point preliminary final win over Port Adelaide. It's vision that's since gone viral, but Luke Beveridge wishes it had been kept more in-house. Uh, I'm not upset, but we're disappointed. Yeah, it's an internal thing. Um, uh, you know, unfortunately, it was a staff member, um, and uh, if if phones are used, um, I mean, phones shouldn't be used to record our players in the dressing room, and definitely shouldn't be sent to anyone. So. Yeah, we're disappointed. Despite all this, the Western Bulldogs coach is backing in his players' maturity as they edge towards the big dance. Somewhat of a contrast to the Demons, who have implemented a player curfew. I feel like, led by Marcus, um, multiple lieutenants and, and players displaying leadership in, in our club feel we're in a really good place to be mature enough to, to do these sorts of things. The Digs and Dogs will be adopting opposite tactics this bye weekend. Simon Goodwin keen to give his side a physical hit out, while Luke Beveridge will be taking a gentler approach after a gruelling three weeks on the road. Saturday will be a risk mitigation type day and we'll, we'll work hard. Uh, we'll definitely train with the footies and uh, we'll put some things into uh, into practice that will be important for the next week, but it won't be a it won't be a practice match. The tempered training session will only help Ruckman Steph Martin recover and prepare to face the red hot Max Gorn, fresh off a five goal preliminary final performance against the Cats. And Steph's nowhere near as tall as Max, but um, there's a strength in Stefan's game that we'll call on that will be important in that battle. And, uh, and then what happens around their feet will be absolutely critical in, in the outcome. The Dogs have won finals in Tasmania, Queensland and South Australia. And should they salute against the Demons, it'll be four wins in four separate states. I think we're proud of ourselves in that we've won so many games interstate. It's not easy um, to have won games in, you know, in, in most of the states is... Um, has been brilliant, you know, we, I, I love that aspect of our year. The selection squeeze is well and truly on when it comes to the grand final, with defender Alex Keith and versatile small Latham Vandermeer both in line to return from injury. Sarah Ollie, Fox Sports News.